Hey guys, Mama and Chaos here. I have not been doing much videos, <clears throat> but I got a little motivated because Valentine's is my favorite holiday because it is a day of love. And I am bringing to you a total of $202.50. Of course, you got tax, so it'd be $218.90. And I really want to see, Miss Elaine, I think those are 50 cents each. Five. Those are five dollars each. No, I'd like to make your own gym stickers. Okay, so they were 50 cents. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to start with these. These are sitting at the um, two for a dollar. So make your own gym stickers. And I thought those would be cute. To add into the baskets so you just get little stickers and it looks like I got more than just okay so these two are the same and then I got two of the different ones oh I didn't know they had different styles of stickers how neat is that but you actually gem up stickers and who wouldn't love this even as an adult I want to try it okay um, as far as other stickers I am doing some Valentine goodies. So, of course, saw these and grabbed them. I really like them. I probably should have grabbed more than one pack of those. Um, they have these yellow and these green. And I don't know how I feel about them. I might just spray paint them red. Um, unless maybe I do like a Butterfinger. Um, or a Reese's. I could put this on my Reese's bouquets. And the green, maybe a mint bouquet. Okay, so my idea of shopping is my therapy. And I bought, can I, I do candy creation, so I make things with candy. And I just want to show you some of the items that I have come across at the Dollar Tree that I was super shocked of. So I bought some lemon juice because I had made this punch, it was called a Grinch punch, and we used all the lemon, and you put it in there and you dip your cup in it, and then you dip it in like a red or a green sugar sprinkles, and it was amazing. But also I squirt this down in my um, garbage disposal to kind of keep it fresh. Um, for steaks, pork and chicken. Guys, we go through this like crazy. They had A1 steak sauce. This is literally like three something, four something. Now with inflation, it's probably five for this and probably $8 for the bigger one. But up for $1.25, it is name brand. And this expires June of 2024. So we still got a year and a half on this. And my kid eats this like I do with steak. <clears throat> so those were just some random buys that I thought were really a good. A good deal. <clears throat> okay, I am going to go ahead and jump to the things that I did not need that I bought. So, these are the $3 towels, right? The $3. And my store, I don't know if your store does, but my $3 and $5 sections, when like the holiday's over, they put them on $1.25. And put them in a bin. And so these were just white washcloths. I mean, you could put this in a gift. You could. I got them actually for my son. But he said he didn't want them. So fine. I will make do. I also came across their faux le leather. My store ran out of this. And all they've had is brown. And so I've been waiting. And so I got two black. I don't even know what I'm going to do with this black. I say I'm going to craft. But I don't even craft um, but the white one, I had an idea to do the, the teardrop, um, earrings and then do maybe stitch in baseball laces or just paint baseball laces on. Get back. My dog wants to be included. Um, okay. I had so many more socks than this, but I ended up putting them back because I had too much stuff. But these are Disney, guys. Look how cute these Mickey Mouse. I've seen all kinds of different ones. Um, they had Lilo and Stitch at mine, but all the ones they had at my store, I haven't seen on anybody else's videos. So, 
And I got myself some socks, which I think I'm going to go ahead and put them on. Okay. Oh, my goodness, guys. Look how... Oh, no, they're stuck together again. There we go. They make sure of these bad boys. Okay, so, you see my socks? How stinking cute are those? Pretty cool, huh? Okay. Other random stuff that I didn't need to buy are these. Guys, I paid $3 for these. And I don't even know why. But look how cool. So, you've got... You've got some gold hearts, some almost chrome uh, hexagons, white pearl stars. You've got some copper hearts, silver stars, and black dots. And then in this one, you've got the hot pink stars, the red hearts, the, uh, is that, yeah, it's a different kind of a hot pink. So the stars are more purple. Um, but this is more of a hot pink hexagon. Purple stars. Hot pink hearts. And then baby pink circles. But guys, I know $3 seems a lot. But oh, if I make pop-up boxes, I say I'm going to make them. I buy this stuff to do everything that comes to my lovely ADHD mind. And then I never do it. So I get these. They fold me. These were sitting in the 50 cent. Okay, so my store has a 50 cent section. Oh my gosh, I love it. So like this, look. Do I need birthday candles? Not right now, but I will because I have two kids. And I don't even know what's wrong with it. Oh, that's what's wrong with it. They broke the tag. So my the manager at my Dollar Tree marks them with 50 cents. So if you do not know about your 50 cent section, Please go do it because these are perfect. They're just broken, won't hang on the shelf. And I can use these for my son's birthday, my niece's birthday, and my other niece's birthday, along with my little nephew's birthday. Okay, so anyways, these were not marked 50 cents, so I think I had to pay full price for these. Um, I hope not. I'm going to check my receipt, but these guys... Um, they don't roll, I mean, they do, but we used these. We actually took them off this pole and slid another pole in them and held it on the ground and did our saran wrap ball. And my son said these were the best things. They're small, so it's a lot more wrapping, and they last so much longer than even the generic wrapping, a uh, saran wrap. So if you do a saran wrap ball, guys, get these. Very, very good. Okay. I saw these. Why did I need them? Because they were ship, uh, ship lap. Because they are gingham. Guys, how cute. It's permanent vinyl. I can cut it out with my Cricut. And it's the black chevron and the red chevron. Because I only grabbed one. I limited. Oh, gosh. They had a bigger shelf, too, but I resisted because they had a two-pack. Guys, they have these little shelves. My store just got them in. Like, oh my gosh. And I have plants all over my house. I am a plant lady. Um, I, so I saw these. And if you can tell right here, it looks like a little, or even right here, like a branch that a bird would sit on. So I thought, oh, that would be cute. I don't even have bird houses. Um, but I thought I could use them for something. And then these. And so I thought last night, why did I buy these? They're stupid. But I can use these as feet when I do crafts. If I ever get to do crafts. Um, also, this was in the 50 cent section. And there are just some Christmas stickers that you can never go wrong with. I'll put them up with my Christmas stuff. And I did not need this bunny. But I got in because I thought I could... It, I won't get a chance to get another one. You know what I mean? Like when you see it at the Dollar Tree, you better grab it because they don't ever get it again. At least my Dollar Tree. And I'm in a small town. But is that not cute? I also got another bunny that I will show. Um, I already put him up. I need to get him. He was $5. Yeah. I shouldn't have spent that much. But he's so cute. So that right there is the stuff 
that I did not need to buy, but I still bought. Okay, so I'm going to do some baskets for Valentine's Day and hopefully make some of this money back. So as far as animals, to earn stuffed animals to go in the baskets or even in my cookie creations, I got the U and it comes with a pear and me. They also have the best friends, but that's kind of, I don't know. Um, I got a red monkey that will actually hold on. I got the pink monkey because the way I work, is I have to buy one of every single color. Why? I don't know. Anyways, I got the white one too. And then these bears are cuter than the other bears. And they actually smell like chocolate. And um, so then I got the brown one with the pink and the dark brown one. Light brown one with pink, dark brown one with red. Oh. And I bought two of each. And then I bought myself. Like, I don't ever really buy myself stuff. I'm just really excited. Guys, look how cute. I don't know if the camera shows these justice, but they look like neon lights. And this is a medium. And I didn't know if I should get a medium or a large, but clearly the medium is going to fit me. Um, so, I cannot wait. These are super soft. Like, I mean... And they were $5. And I thought about buying them to put in baskets. But right now, I'm just trying to make do with what I already have. Um, and I just needed to get a few things. So, on that note, I've got my stuffed animals. Okay. Sticky. Okay, so then I decided to go ahead and buy a few things that would collaborate together in a basket. So, I thought... These, I got one in one. This is Sweater Weather. And then this one is Cranberry Cheers. This one, a uh, Vanilla Mint and Winter Cranberry. And they're just those round lip balms. Whip up a cool treat for your lips with this Winter Berry Lip Balm. Give your lips a hint of winter wonder with this Vanilla Mint Lip Balm. So yeah, um, I got those to throw in a basket. These were so cute, guys. And they had some with just plain hearts on them, and then they had the XOXOs. I've also seen others, but the XOXO is what I like. So I got two of those, one in each basket, along with two of the nail files, which I absolutely love. And then I got two of the makeup sponges. And these, they had two different kinds, so, and they only had one left. And I resisted buying that last one. I also grabbed this six-piece manicure set to maybe throw in one. And then I bought the hold, the hot cold iPads, which I think I should have got more of those. But these are super cute. They're jelly. And you uh, put them in the fridge and you just lay them on your eyes. Um, oh, it says you can heat them, heat them up too. But like if I ever am watching a movie and I cry... My eyes swell up, and these are good for me. But it's the Be Pure. Um, and the Be Pure brand is a very, very popular brand. I'm pretty sure you can get it elsewhere. It's not a Dollar Tree brand. But I could be wrong. I went ahead and grabbed some Snuggadoo socks that were this baby pink to kind of coordinate. Um, I also got, oh, this was my, like, favorite find. And this is the Be Pure 2. Tigers! They're ringing the bell. My dog's at my son's door. Are you ringing the bell? Are you trying to get your brother to let you in? Yeah. Okay. So this combats puffy under eyes and dry lips with our soothing eye and lip mask. How cute, guys. I can stick this in the basket upside down and they see lips. You know what I mean? It's lip and eye, and I like them. I mean, they're really easy to use. Just slap them on and then wait so long and peel them off. So this was my favorite find. Um, I have both of these. Aromatherapy, the Slumber Calming Lavender, and then I have the Relax Refreshing Mint Eucalyptus, and I love them for my bubble baths. They give me a little bit of bubble bath, but not too much bubbles. And so I got these to maybe have an animal hugging around them. 
Um, I thought they'd be kind of nice to get in a gift set. I saw these two. And this, oh, aren't these cute? They are crystal water um, hand creams. So you've got watermelon and lemon soda. And so I got two, of course, how to buy things in doubles. I've heard nothing but good things about these little Doves, and Doves always a good brand. So I got two of those. And then I got, I only have two. I know that I bought three chocolate hearts. And one's missing, so I don't know if it's in this bag of candy. Or if one of my kids took it, but here comes my son. I came across these in the hair section, and they look so big. And I think I'm going to like them, because I don't like the small ones that get tangled in my hair. So these are actually really neat. I don't know if you can tell how thick they are. They're really neat. So those are going to go to my room. Trip, they can't see. You have to hold it way back here. He wants y'all to see his bell. His mermaid. That actually does swim. Which doesn't want to work. And Aurora without a leg. He loves girls. Go, please, so I can film. Thank you. I also got some trip. Thank you. I got some tools. I got the pink and the white sparkles. And then I got the pink with the gold in it. And then this was in the 50 cent section. And it's red with gold, so it's from Christmas. But red and gold's Valentine's as well. What else did I get? Um, these, um, I, I cut squares and then I grab the center and fold them up and they're really good to stuff in baskets to make it shiny. So I got a purple and a pink. And then I came across these and I actually, I think I bought three. I loved these princesses. So my son is in love with the Disney princesses um, and the Frozen princesses. And so when I saw this, I was just like, oh my gosh, they're so cute. Well, my niece is also does her room in this, and this is a really pretty style, and so I think I'm going to make her a sign with her name on it and put this on it. But this is the backing. Okay. Oh, yep, there's the third one. We also got a 24-piece Minnie Mouse puzzle because he can do 24 pieces by himself. And he got a $5 doggy. He got about five other little things because he went to the potty. Okay, but now behind me. I plan to use these to set up in the back of the basket to keep my stuff set up, if that makes sense. To give them like a backboard. So this one says, I can't bear to be without you. And then this one says, Be Mine with a Llama. Of course, that one's really crooked. This was my favorite. I'm on my way to steal your heart. Oh my gosh. Is that all so cute? I know. I love it. I love it. And then I love this saying, Love you. Mean it. Isn't that cute? So those will be backwards. And then I bought these. Trip, please mm -hmm. stop for a minute. No. <sighs> Kissing booth. It's closed at the moment. And you spin this around. And now it's 25 cents. So this will also hopefully be able to set up at the back of the backboard. And I got a pink one as well. And I love the pink one. I might just keep it. Kissing booth. I love the pink one. Then, as you can see, I bought these in previous years. And so, it looks like this is more of a red. Maybe not. Yeah, 
the red. Oh no, they glued it in. So this one sold with a kiss and they actually glued this down. So you can't pull the paper out. Yeah, that's what they're doing now. And then there's this envelope with a little heart that says follow your heart. And they glued this one down too. Then I got this as a backboard. They only have one of these or I would have bought more. This one says love. So those will be the background of my basket. And then I saw this and I thought it was just cute. I may pop it off of here and just put that in one of them. Sweet heart. This was also in the 50 cent section and it's just one curling bow because the other ones must have fallen off. And this, guys, I bought this for myself to paint and hang on my front door. Okay, this was $3, y'all, and I thought it was the cutest thing because when you turn the corner of my house, you see my bright yellow door, and so I always like something hanging on it, and this is a heart with wings. And then this one was three, and this one's gonna be for Easter, and I like the bunny. Not so hot with everything else, but we'll see. And it was $3, and I get it home only to find out, look, it's broke. So check your items, guys. <clears throat> this is the bunny that I got for five. And <laughs> he is not so cute. And I really didn't want to pay five dollars, but he was really cute. So I bought him for five. Mine that I bought a years a couple years ago. These actually paper hearts came out. You know, and now they're they're gluing them in. And the other one it comes out too. What are you doing, silly? You want them in the camera? She's a finger puppet. So, I like the ones that are not glued in. Others, tell me what your opinion is in the comment. Do you like those hearts glued in, the envelopes, or not? Okay, I'm going to end this haul with my candy. Now, <clears throat> I do candy creations, and I'm also doing baskets with the candy creations. So, try to find the best, most unique candy. First of all, I grabbed three packs of Twizzlers because who doesn't like Twizzlers? Twizzlers. Twizzlers. And they make a great border. Back border. And I also got two of these, which Trip is trying to show you. Sour Punch Twists. And so I thought those were cute. I know, Mom. And then I got two of these. And these are just Mike and Ike's original. Red Hearts. I did the Mike and Ike's Big Box. And these are great fillers. And I bought a half a big carton. You know, they come in those big boxes of like 12 or something. And I bought them and my husband took half of what I had. So left me with a few, but he loves Red Hearts. Oh, there's two. I got two of those. So I got two packs of this Sour Punch Blue Raspberry. And then I got two packs of the strawberry straws and uh, sour punch strawberry straws. So these are very good. I tried to get bigger candy so that it would help fill the baskets. I found how cute are these? Now I got two boxes. Okay, trip. He wants me to show you these. These are Twizzler nibs. Okay, sorry about that. My son was being very disrespectful. And that messing around. So, um, he likes, or I got these little packs. There's only five of them, but they're the Twizzler nibs. I got, of course, everybody loves sour packages, right? So, I got two boxes of these hearts. Aren't they cute? Sour Patch Kids hearts. And then I got Sour Patch Kids sour hearts. And these are not... Um, black licorice, because who likes black licorice? These are black raspberry. I got four of these because they all, and what's cool is there's four roses on this one, two roses, three roses, and then another two roses, but the two different, two roses are all different. So, of course, I got one of every style, and these will fill baskets. I thought I could just get bags. These are the Twizzlers Mini Pull and Fills. Twizzlers is a good brand. And they're red. 
They only have one pack of these, and I think I might save these for myself. They, how nice do these bags? Holly Wallaby, Licorice Lovers Rejoice. But they look high end, you know, and they look really nice. So, they're classic reds, miniature soft shoes. They're Twizzlers. I also, oh, how, how cool are these? So, there's these blow pops inside out, and they have the crushed hard candy on the inside of the bubble gum. So, I thought those were neat. And just kind of random candy. I got some ring pop threes. And there's only four in this bag, but that's okay. I'm not putting the whole bag in. I'll use individuals. And like this, I'll use individuals out of this. This is yummy to wear. Um, anyways, all the kids love these. And so I can have these thrown in some baskets. These will be taken out of their packet, possibly. But they're sour taffy. Warhead Laffy Taffy. I got a golf ball heart because both my husband and my kid loves golf. All right, I'm almost done here. And my one that I was didn't know if I should get or not, but they feel really squishy and they feel like they're really good are these rips, and they're ripping reds. It says, hi, I'm Ripley, the inventor. I love red candy. So they're raspberry and red apple, bite-sized licorice pieces. So I thought, oh, and wild cherry and wild berry. So there's four different flavors in here. So I thought those would be cool to set in a basket. All right, guys, I think that is all for my haul. Um, thanks for stopping by. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you like random mama and chaos stuff, I do plans, I do shopping, I do, um, I'm going to start doing my baskets. I do hauls. Um, I really do this for myself because shopping is a therapy for me. And so then I want to show it to people and my husband doesn't care and my, my son doesn't care. And so I show it to you guys. So I hope that you enjoy this and I hope you guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Bye.